Welcome guys. In today's video, let's see how to create a table view with custom cell. Uh, the custom cell will show fruit image, its name and price. Uh, for this reason, I have created a fruit array which has fruit struct. The fruit struct has name, image and price. Uh, in order to create our table view, first let's create its in instance. and after that we will add this instance in our parent view then i will set its frame equal to view dot bounds in order to define cells how many cells we want to display in the table uh, we have to implement our protocol UI table view data source from this uh, uh, protocol we will get two methods the first will be number of rows in section it defines how many cells we want to show in our table uh, so in our case uh, we have to show fruits so we will use its count here I will return fruits.count so the number of cells will be equal to the number of fruits the second method will be cell for row at here we have to return the cell which we want to display uh, but we have to create our custom cell so let's create a custom cell It will inherit from UI table view cell. In order to add uh, image, name, and price, we need initializer. And don't forget to call the super initializer and provide the same parameters uh, which we are getting from initializer. once we add the initializer we uh, we also have to use the required initializer now we can add our views inside our initializer for image i will use the image view and i will add two labels first one uh, will be fruit name and second will be fruit price let's add these views inside our custom cell Once we have uh, these views in custom cell, we also have to define their frames. You can also use constraints, but I am using frame because for time saving. Uh, for the image, I will define its frame like its x value will be. 10 also y will be 10 and width and height will be 100 uh, and for the Im uh, name I will set its x value using the width and x value 110 110 and also I want to add uh, 10 pixels padding so I will use 120 x value for y I will use 20 width will be 120 and height 30 let's copy this 
and for the fruit price it has the same value x and for y <coughs> I will calculate from 30 plus 20 50 and the 10 padding 50 plus 10 equals 60 uh, width and height will remain same uh, one, after adding these views we can register this cell first we have to register this cell for our table view so register this class custom cell dot self so we have registered our custom cell class and for reuse identifier I will name it as cell now we can DQ our custom cell table view dot DQ reusable cell with identifier and the identifier is cell for index path provided here we also have to type cost this cell so we can access your properties and set their values first we have to get the fruit which we will display in the cell so we will get our fruit from the fruit array using index path dot row it will return an integer value so we will get our proper index for the fruit value once we have our fruit value we can set our properties of cell for fruit image its image will be equal to UI image and here we will provide name of fruit image which will be fruit dot image I have already added in assets folder this fruit images so I have provided their names in the fruit struct that's why I am using fruit images names after that let's set its property fruit name dot text its text will be equal to fruit dot name similarly for fruit price it will be a stream I want to display a dollar sign and then I will use the interesting interpolation and here I will provide the value of price at the end we will return this cell and one thing I forget I have to define the table view the data source property equal to self the table views data source property will be equal to our view controller so here I forget to add the cell now after returning this cell here I also made mistake so custom cell now let's run it we have our table view but our cells height is not proper so we can change our cells height using the row height property table view dot row height will be equal to 120 and let's uh, rerun now we have our cells in a proper height now I want to 
perform some action for example if I click on uh, banana I want to print banana and if I click on watermelon it should print watermelon so some actions should be performed on uh, click of some specific cell so you can use that function to open the details controller or the details pop-up uh, for this reason uh, we have to use protocol UI table view delegate and its method will be did select row at now if I print here I can print anything like uh, for example cell of and here I will use interpolation and fruits index path dot row dot name so cell of and here it will display the fruit name is clicked so let's rerun and check its output now if I click on melon uh, it is not displaying because I forget to set its property we have to set table view dot delegate equal to self also now let's rerun and check if I click on page you can see cell of page is clicked for banana apple similarly watermelon and I also want to remove this color once it is clicked so we can use table view dot deselect row at index path and animate it let's make it true and we can check its result for banana grapes melon no it is properly working uh, I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you creating the custom table cell for the table view so we have done all this programmatically in Swift I hope uh, you will like this video so please subscribe our channel and like the video thanks for watching